Hello everyone and welcome. It's me, Dark Ephemera, Dark Arts and Crafts. And today in my Godzilla unboxing channel, thank you everybody for your feedback concerning this. I'm enjoying it once again, doing these videos, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Well, I was busily going through my Godzilla collection and I came across something that I just got recently that I had not yet opened. So, fresh stuff for you guys. So, let's take a look and see what Godzilla has in store for us. This is uh, Playmates, I think. Let's see. Oh, that's weird. I don't see a... Yeah, Playmates. So Playmates sold figures. Um, well, they've been selling figures from Kong Skull Island, and then they started selling figures from uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, which came out uh, like a year ago, right? <laughs> March of... 2021 and at the time they uh, came out with a lot of fi these figures a lot of which I've done unboxings on this channel six inch figures that I like um, having to do with that movie then for some inexplicable reason around March of 2022 <laughs> a year later they released this set I decided to get it because it's a slightly different versions. I actually don't have a Kong. I did not collect any, I didn't bother collecting any of the Kongs, but to have one Kong in my collection would be nice. My cats were fighting a little bit. I had to stop them, I'm sorry. So, I think I got this at Target. Target and Walmart seem to have a lot of the figures mostly, though I would see them here and there. And uh, horrifically, uh, horrifically marked up at a toy show or something. So, <laughs> any rate, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this without making too much of a mess, but let's take a peek at it. So, this is from Godzilla vs. Kong. They're calling it the City ba Battle Set. It should contain a 6-inch Godzilla and a 6-inch Kong with some diorama pieces. And basically, you can kind of see that they're probably just cardboardy. And then the Kong and Godzilla are going to be distinctive. They don't look like they're in a city that's full of fire. So I could tell now that these are pretty much the exact same figures with just a different coloring. And in another video, I'll probably show you some more of these figures and show you some of my favorites. Diorama is actually on cardboard. And here are the figures. I need to get some scissors. Let me zoom in. See, they just have some coloration that makes them look like they're fighting in a uh, in a city that's on.
They're just like rubber bands, but it's hard to get my fingers on there. All right. So yeah, I could tell you now, pretty much exactly the same figure. The jaw moves soft, clear plastic spines. Oh, um, some of you may remember my kitten. He's no longer a kitten, but he still likes to chew on my Godzilla figures. He is keeping an eye on me. So in the original round, I didn't bother getting a Kong. I don't know why, I just, I just like Godzilla. But now I've got one. <laughs> and that's fine. Okay, I have a small collection of jets and heaves. This is the uh, hollow earth vehicle. Uh, I, I'm going to say no spoiler. <laughs> spoiler, no spoiler. I'm assuming most of you have seen the movie by now. It's been out for a year. Each figure always came with one or two of these. So I have a small bag full with a bunch of these. <laughs> I'll just add these to the collection. Of course, this is the battle damage. Ugh, the paint job does not line up really. seems all right, but this bottom part doesn't quite match up. Oh well. And then Godzilla has a heat ray. There's a little, should be a little hole um, up at the top of his mouth, and that kind of goes in. And then his jaw can hold it. And there's this heat ray. Cool. And I'm going to try to put this on off camera because it's a struggle, but hang on. <laughs> Sometimes it snaps in. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, the struggle. Yeah, sometimes it snaps in. Sometimes you have to heat it a little bit by running it through uh, some warm water. But that gives you a little movement there. The legs move. Not the feet. The arms move. And the head does not move. But the jaw opens and closes. Okay.
Cone also has some battle damage. That actually was pretty good. The paint job matches. He's got knees, hips, elbows, shoulders. His hand turns. Head kind of turns. That neck and beard is really hard. Mouth does not open and close. And he's got an axe with a with a Godzilla spine on it. Ooh, that's rude. Let's see if it fits in. Nope. Keep it in this hand. Go on, grab it. There we go. Okay. He looks pretty good. Directions for the diorama. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to put it together in front of you guys, but I'm definitely going to show you. I thought it was paper, but it's actually card cardboard, but that kind of uh, cardboard that has the... Um, go ahead and get it back. I'm trying to focus. Well, you can see it has the ribs on the inside. This is not flat cardstock. So it has a certain softness to it. You can see it's just like a lot of destruction. Building. Oh, bits and pieces on fire. Another building. Well, that looks like something on fire. Pop this out. I see. So you fold it to make some. Oh, I'm afraid to just fold it. Let's see. Hmm. The um instructions are pretty minimal. Are they numbered? <laughs> okay, I pulled this. Oh, this is number 11. Okay. So where's number 11 go? Oh, I see. Yeah. Ooh, I gotta be careful with this. I cannot undo this until I'm ready. So each piece has, is numbered. Four, and this was 11 and then 11's here there's five the big piece and four the smaller debris piece here so it's five in the background so uh, in other words I'm gonna need to sit down and put this together properly. I'm not gonna have a I'm not gonna be able to do that with you guys, but at least you can see what it's like. Also, I'm hesitant because I'm not sure if I have enough room for this. Look at this big piece. We oui. like everything is on fire. I wonder if these are actual buildings in, oh, wait, the finale was in, um, the finale was in Hong Kong, if I'm not mistaken. Not Tokyo. <laughs> I 
I just got wa done watching uh, Godzilla vs. Destroya and Millennium. And just, you know, Tokyo, just getting pounced on. Pretty funny, but also awful. So I think I'm gonna put that together later, not in front of you guys. And I will just continue to look at these pieces. So this is City Battle Kong. I believe only comes in the City Battle set, diorama set, but I can, without Pulling out another one of my figures, I can tell you this is the same body, the same build. Um, yes. <laughs> my cat is thinking about coming over here. City Battle Kong. My only Kong that I have now. You get a, a blaster. This is the exact same blaster. I think I have two others from two other figures. But it's cool. It's cool. I wish maybe they came in different colors or something, but blue is his um, power color in these movies, so there you go. It almost makes it look like he's shooting ice. And then you've got these things. Yeah. So, City Battle, let me get the box out. Show you this, guys, again. I'll zoom out a little bit. Monsterverse, Playmates, Godzilla vs. Kong, City Battle figures and diorama. I completely forgot how much I paid for this. But. <laughs> And normally these figures are only like 10 each so just be be mindful if it if it's not at your local target anymore be mindful about um excessive markups on ebay <laughs> yeah this diorama is going to be cool pretty cool looking i think I hope I have enough space in my uh, on my Godzilla shelf. Okay. Well, I think that's it for now. Thank you guys very much for checking this out. And as an extra special treat, here he is, Jaws the Wonder Cat. <laughs> he uh, don't chew on my figures, you little no no. So Giles went from being a, an adorable kitten to being a fairly adorable, an incredibly handsome young man. And he still chews on my figures. <laughs> but that's okay. We love him anyway. Right, guys? We love you anyway. <laughs> Giles is settling down for the day, obviously. <laughs> and I think that's all we have for tonight. Happy Godzilla thoughts for everybody. And Kong thoughts if you're Team Kong. I was Team Godzilla the whole way, by the way. Um, and I'll see you again sometime later with another fun unboxing video. Everybody have a great time. This is Dark Ephemera and Giles saying bye-bye for now and happy Halloween.